Hello, and welcome to this introductory course on Promise Theory and its application to open leadership. In this course, I want to get you thinking about leadership in terms of promises, rather than the more usual idea of commands, obligations, habits, or even recipes. Thinking in promises is a relatively new idea, but it's also a simple one with deep consequences. We're going to learn about promises by looking at a number of examples from the Open Leadership Playbook. The goal is to get you sketching promise diagrams and using the principles of cooperation to analyze the most basic foundations on which all leadership rests. Let's jump straight in to see what I mean by promises. Let's think for a moment how often you make promises or make use of others' promises. It may surprise you to learn that promises are absolutely everywhere, and we use them all the time. They're embedded, quite often invisibly, in just about everything we experience, far more widespread than any of us realizes. A lot of the time we take them for granted, which is why we don't see them. And we don't really hold anyone or anything to account for the promises that aren't kept. We treat promises with a casual disregard, and yet they're still the basis of our cooperation. Take a simple example. A flight from London to New York promises passengers that they will have onboard power. A British passenger thinks, great, I can plug in my phone and computer to work on the flight, but the power outlet is only an American shape and voltage, along with some USB outlets. Was the promise kept? Was the promise useful? If so, to whom? To the airline or to the passenger? Who was the promiser? the one making the promise, who is the promisee, the recipient of the promise, and whose fault was the misunderstanding. This example shows us that context, as well as the nature of the promiser and the promisee, play an active role in making promises work, and the responsibility for understanding is shared. Here's another one. You need a job done, say, in your bathroom. So you go to the Yellow Pages or the Ads Online and you end up with 10 different contractors, all making slightly different claims. Some of them bold, some of them more cautious. These claims are promises. I promise to do this, I promise to deliver that. Now you might be suspicious of bold claims. Can they really deliver? You might also be suspicious of weaker claims. Are they in fact hedging their bets because they don't believe they can do it? How to choose? Your assessments of the different promises might depend on any number of factors, but it's an individual assessment based on the information you have available. It depends on your understanding as well as your trust. All this involves a lot of uncertainty. Finally, what about your own intentions? Are they always clear to the right audience? Do you make clear promises yourself? Will anyone accept them? Do they build trust in others? Can people understand what you claim you're going to do? Do they trust you? Will they trust you more or less if you don't keep your promises or if you haven't kept your promises in the past? What we see from these examples is that the promises are about managing uncertainty and they're closely related to trust. It's not about humans because machines, tools and processes can make promises too by proxy. Thinking in promises is a powerful way of analyzing cooperation. Promise theory is about how people and things, what we simply call agents, interact and end up working together. We're not going to get into the ethics of promises. Our aim is to keep everything very simple, even simplistic. The value lies in being able to see very simple truths with great clarity. There's one core of general ideas, and once you know them, you can specialize the ideas more in the direction of technical systems, or social systems. In this course, we tailor our introduction specifically to the open leadership initiatives. When you're ready to learn more, you'll be able to go deeper and ask more questions, specialized technical or social, and deal with a wider range of problems from product management to teamwork. Promises are about intentions and how agents interact to bring them about individually or collectively, how interaction leads to collaboration. Collaboration benefits from cooperation 
and sets in motion processes by which certain promises will be kept. There's approximation involved because you can never truly capture every nuance of the agents or their intent. Let's get a few basics out of the way from the start. No promise should ever be considered a guarantee. We'd all love to have guarantees, but there's no magic. Agents may be unable or unwilling to keep their promises. Non-cooperation might be their choice, or it might be beyond their control. Promises don't automatically imply obligations. If I say I'm going to try my best, I may perceive that to be my duty. But if I promise you a fact, like I fed your cat yesterday, then I'm not obliged in any way by that statement. We often muddle promises with obligations. But promise theory tells us that promises are statements of intent, not necessarily debts to be paid. Finally, Promises can't capture every nuance. There's always uncertainty about what's promised. There's no perfect or unambiguous language for promises that could ever lead to complete certainty. That's why both the interpretation of the promiseur and the promisee play a role at every stage. Our slogan here might be called GONE. Guarantees are void, obligations are out, and nuance is limited. The road to promises is paved with intentions, and promise theory has a few promises of its own. We can call them SEC. S is a focus on simplicity, analysis stripped down to the bone and separated from human concerns. It's purely bookkeeping of intent, with an almost mechanical or engineering clarity. E is to expose the agents and their viewpoints. It's they, after all, who have the responsibility to implement the intended outcome. We only expose those components that affect behavior. Names, job titles, brands, and experience may not play any role in the ability of agents to keep their promises. We don't have to talk about that. Finally, C is for capturing the essence of situations in just enough detail to be plausible, using promise diagrams. And a key thing is to get you sketching these promise diagrams in this course. So what about the promises of this course? The course is a proxy for my intent to explain the general ideas without specializing too much on this first occasion. So the promises are as follows. First, to explain a concise working knowledge of the subject. Second, to teach you the difference between key concepts like promises and impositions. Third, to help you learn to sketch your thinking in terms of diagrams. My intention is that this should be a self-service experience, but I'll answer questions through the course platform along the way. In turn, you'll cooperate to the outcome by making some promises of your own. These are effectively the rules of play for the course. In other words, my cooperation is dependent on you making some promises of your own, this is how cooperation works. Finally, we'll both try to track promises and make course notes on each slide to make sure we're aligned towards the same outcome and making progress towards that goal. So the rules of play are also about promises. I make my promises conditional on some promises made voluntarily by you. This is how we proceed. First, be prepared for live meetings. Accept and absorb the materials in advance of any session so that you've done your homework. Second, be on time for those meetings when they happen because no one's going to be waiting and we don't want to waste anybody's time. Third, be respectful of the others learning with you. Try to be concise, not hogging the time or pontificating at the expense of others. This is all intended to make sure the running of the course is smooth and effective for everyone. That's our meta promise. Now that the preliminaries are out of the way and I've set your expectations, let's get started on the details. The course material begins here. Mm -hmm.